Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and in this video, which is going to be really short, I just want to show you two built-in variables that you might not realize that are very useful for when your game starts to grow, and that is FPS and FPS real. So the difference between these two is that FPS is going to be set at a maximum of your game speed, which normally is 60. So this sets to 60 FPS. And FPS is going to be checking to see how many steps per second are actually being completed up to the maximum of the room speed. So if you set your game speed at 30, this number will never go beyond 30. If you set it to 60, it won't go past that. But it might go under if you have too much going on in your game. Now, FPS real, on the other hand, is how many CPU steps that Game Maker Studio is actually completing, and it's going to be way higher than anything that you see before. So, we actually can just take this right here, this draw text, and copy that. So, I'm going to go back into a little project I'm working on. I'm going to draw the text of FPS real, and we're going to do draw text 3264 of current FPS. So this will be a little bit different. So we have FPS and then FPS real. I'm going to go ahead and put real here and run this. And you'll see right away the two numbers are vastly different. So up here we have the FPS real. So my game at my computer is running what looks to be between three and five thousand steps per second even with everything I've got on the screen here, which isn't very much. The current FPS is what the game is really running at because we've set it to 60 FPS and that's the max that that's going to check out at. So even as you start to move, and you'll see here that if I go into my battle screen, my FPS real is actually going to drop a little bit. So it gets down to about two to 3,000 now because I've got more objects on the screen and more code running but my current FPS doesn't change. It is still a silky smooth 60 FPS, at least most of the time. So this is very useful and it can help you when you are building your game and it starts really growing and you've got lots of code and lots of objects and you wanna see how well is my game actually performing on my system. So if this current FPS starts dropping below 60, you know that you've got too much going on and you probably need to tighten up your code or get rid of things that aren't necessary. Now this FPS reel, you can also see inside of the debugger. If you press F6, you can open up the debugger and look over here and see that this is the FPS reel as well. And you can see that it has an average and where it's currently at. And that can be very useful as well. So you can just see that all the time inside of the debugger. But that's all I've got for you. Nice, quick, short, and hopefully helpful. So thank you for joining me, and as always, have fun making great games, and I'll talk to you later.